Hello, hello. Hola. Ciao and bonjour. Welcome back to another chill day of Kaizo Ironmon. Where we're going to suffer, hopefully, not too much. Be in the lab. Hopefully not too much in the lab. Um and I have this cat here who won't come up to the camera, so I can't put him on the cam. But he he is meowing at me pretty incessantly. I know, I know. He's like, why are you streaming right now of all times? When I am the one who needs your attention. And I'm like, child, if you would just come up here, I could pet you and stream at the same time. Chiriko, get your ass up here! Where? I made room for you and everything! I know, I know, hold on, let me turn the camera on. There we go, there's the camera. Come here, come here, get on the camera. The people want to see your beautiful face. There you go. There's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, hello, everybody. Welcome on back to Kaizo Iron Monday. And, you know, all the good things that that entails. This is Chiriko, the cat we see less often because he always refuses to get on the camera. Come here. Here, sit, child, sit. Look up, look up. Show your face to the beautiful people. I'm in the way can't show you his face if I'm in the way there. There we go. Kind of see him? He's just like, why are we doing this? Sit, 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 sit. Sit, 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 sit. This one requires two hands even though he's a smaller cat. What are you doing? Yes. Yes. Yes, Chirko is much less happy to be here. Although he does enjoy having his butt scratched. Anyway, hello everybody. How's it going? Happy Monday. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Chirko also says hello. How are you? Good evening. Morning, afternoon, whatever time you perceive it to be. You wanna, you wanna fist bump? Yeah, fist bump. Good cat. All right, we're just gonna vibe today. I wanna listen to music, and we listen to the Iron Mon sounds of suffering first five minutes a lot. So we're gonna listen to music instead. Uh, first pick goes to the bot. Bot says right. Chirico left because he's a bastard. Bold picks is an orphan. Chat gets the Jigglypuff, and we have picked the Chicken Chicken. I'm gonna call you. Um, I'm gonna call you Jolly Bee because we were talking about Jolly Bee, I think, yesterday, which is a place that serves Filipino spaghetti and chicken, and they're pretty tasty. We have stabbed Sacred Fire, yo! That's pretty cool. Alright, let's see how we do. Go, Jolly Bee! I like how it's the Suzuku theme, which is like very appropriate for having a spicy fire chicken. <laughs> We can go a little bit faster. Um, I guess we're gonna stab Sacred Fire, cause you know, why the fuck not? Let's go! Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay, 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 okay. Shit, fuck, no, no, motherfucker! And one job. Why was it gonna turn into a fire chicken? I didn't even name. Oh wait, I did nickname. I named it Jolly Bee. It was Jolly Bee was gonna become a Polyrath. That's just weird. You're 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 a weird dude. You know that, Jolly Bee. You're a weird dude. Are we gonna have water moves? No. 
It would have been just- oh wait. No, yeah, because it would have evolved first before it got the water moves. It would have been weird. Good start, good start. Yes, very, very chill. Extre extraordinary chill. Don't worry about it. It's fine. The The first one's always uh, a fluke. Nothing to be concerned about. Alright, Ethaloon, where would you like to go next? Left, middle, or right? Where are you vibing today? Breaking! Dragonite is an orphan. Chat's getting the shepherd puppet. And we're getting a snow run. Um, I'm gonna call you Bermuda. That's a move. Yeah, it has a move. And it's one singular move is indeed a move. So that's something. At least it can hit a ghost. Can you imagine if it's one and only singular move was like... I don't know, Swift. <laughs> That'd be pretty awful. That's an outrage. Yep, and we're dead. All right, goodbye. You tried. Alrighty, Space Papoto, where would you like to go? Where are you vibing tonight? He's folding clothes, but he says left gang. Committing crimes against Cinnamon. Dusclops is an orphan. Lombre is the anemone, and we have picked a seal. It's not awful. It could be a lot better, but it could also be a lot worse. He's indeed committing so many cine crimes. Cinnamon just wants to be on a pile of warm laundry, as any cat should. Alright, uh, we do have a lot of special attack. Like, a lot of special attack. <laughs> Not enough, though! Goodbye, Cinecrime. It's not even warm anymore, she just wants to cuddle. Look, she'll warm it up with her body heat and then be able to reabsorb her heat. That's how it works. Right? Maybe? Virko decided he would rather sit in the bed than sit on the camera. But in Chiriko's honor, we will take another right. Because Chiriko is always right. Good question. Where is Momo? I have no idea. I haven't seen him since dinner when he decided that he wanted to sit on my legs. Like, I was just chilling in the katatsu, and he was like, Mother, I want to sit here. And he climbs up, and I'm like, Child, I cannot see the TV. Relic an orphan. Star used the anemone. Here goes a diglet. And then he sat on my legs. That's what happened. Alright, Dig Dug, let's go. Papayas! I'm sure if I call for him, he'll run over, but I don't actually know where he is. <laughs> Which, maybe I should be concerned about, but... Uh... Oh wow, that's fucked up. Yep, that's a stab super effective hydro pump. Papaya's jamming somewhere. What is papaya's lore? I would be interested in papaya's lore. 
I spent like a couple days writing the next piece of Kirameki's lore because I was like, I kind of want to flesh her out a little bit more. Like, what's her background? What's her story? Because, you know, when I actually went through the game back then, I was just, you know, dicking around as me. Her lore, she's a potato who loves punching. Good lore, good lore. I had, I'm having fun writing it up though. The character lores. I should probably think more about my other characters, but who knows. I don't even know what to do with them. The other characters I made were just because like, I want a potato. I want to make one of each, each, each uh, race in 14. Oh, I, I would also like to have a K-pop bun boy because that seems fun. And I'm like, maybe I should give them like personalities. <laughs> She's your least developed wall and it's fine. It's, it's potato. Potatoes are fine. Everything's fine when you're a potato. Alright, Amerik, where are we sending Artbert? Left. Metapod is the orphan, Tropius is the anemone, and we are giving Blossom to Artbert. K-pop bun boy is the perfect vibe. Exactly! So there's this webtoon that I was reading for a while. It's over now. It ended, so I'm no longer reading it. So that's why it's past tense. But it's called um, Lost in Translation, and like it's like about like a a boy band, and then like one of the characters in the boy band who's like gets set up by his jackass of a uh, CEO in his management company um, to like always be involved in scandals and shit. He's actually just like the sweetest little cinnamon roll, but it's like he's getting like kind of like blackmailed or coerced into doing it for the benefit of the band and i'm like oh his poor boy so anyway my my uh, his name is jaywon on and that's the name of my bun boy long story short that <laughs> uh let's call you hula so i guess my bun boy has kind of a story in that he will be a uh, cinnamon roll I think my bun girl's probably sassy. She looks like she's sassy. It makes sense because you gave Papaya a little as little lore as possible because he was you're new to the setting. Yeah, that's really fair. I just like never really thought about lore for my characters. I'm like, I just want to go through and check different options, and I want a character that looks like this, so that if I ever feel like playing on like a uh, here or a potato, I can. Although that being said, I might I'm probably gonna end up changing my femro to a um femprof. Cause I think they look nicer. That's just a personal opinion. Yeah, I'm probably gonna change my femro into a big cat lady. I'm like, I'm inspired by by Wuklama, why not? Hate your power, let's go. Well, that's the one! Just in case. Please don't kill me. Ow! <laughs> well then. Well then. That was a very aggressive way to water the flowers. Yes, it was. Extremely aggressive. I was quite rude and impolite. All right, where's my bot? Emrick, tell me where to go. Emrick's is left. Uh, Gyarados is an orphan. Jack gets the Weedle, and we're taking... Oh, it's the taco again. I guess it can... it's not technically Tuesday. But it can be Taco Monday. Let's go Taco Monday!
The stats are questionable. We have a lot of defense. At least we're fighting a Weedle. <laughs> At least there's that. Although we don't have attack, so that's a little problematic. Oh god, this is going to be awful. Alright, we'll speed it up a little. Yes, hit yourself. Hit yourself. That's not hitting yourself. Hit yourself. Damn it. Ellie. Please hit yourself. Yay! We're out! Taco Monday is free! Free the tacos. I mean, it's not quite Splash. Splash does no damage. It was just like a silly slap fight. We're definitely gonna pivot Taco Monday. It doesn't have moves and it doesn't really learn moves. It is a problem. At least we can run away, so... We can have plenty of good times searching for a friend. So what do you guys do all weekend? How's everybody doing? Ooh, Master Ball. <gasps> Are you good? Sludge Bomb, eh? And Drought? String Shot. Interesting. Uh, Space Photo got back into Hades, which means a lot of couch time with Cinnamon. Nice. So one of the demo games that we tried not that long ago was uh, Realm of Ink. Which feels and plays a lot like Hades, but set to uh, Chinese mythology. It was actually pretty fun. I'm probably going to play more of it eventually. I don't know when. And like Hades, I'm terrible at it. <laughs> Not terrible, but like, you know, mediocre. I'm no pro. Yeah, it's it was actually really good. Um... I think it might still be on Twitch VODs. I think my Twitch VODs are there for a while. And if not, you can find it on the YouTube VODs. I'm pretty sure it got uploaded recently. It was in one of the Next Fest demo days. I think it was day two when we did Realm of Ink. But yeah, the, I'm pretty sure the demo is also still up, so you could also just check it out. Demos are free. But it plays a lot like Hades, like the feel of it is just like Hades. And there's even like a equivalent to the the mirror, um, where you can kind of invest in yourself and like your stats and things that you can do. There's different weapons. They only have three weapons right now. I don't know if they're gonna have more. Definitely looks like there's room to grow, but like it looks very promising. Uh, the only thing is like the voice acting is all entirely in Chinese which can be a little bit challenging to try to read the subtitles and like look at what else is going on on the screen at the same time. Um, but again, it's like it's it's in a um, it's just a demo. So who knows if they're going to have an English option later? I don't know. I don't know if that's in the works. But it is fun. It reminds me, one of the things I kind of want to do is like develop a little like, rating card that we can use for the demos and the games that we play. Be like, hey, this is what I liked about this game. And if you like this kind of game, you might like this game that we played. I think it'd be neat. And not just like, basic like, oh yeah, three out of five stars or four out of five or whatever. Um, but like, but like the reasons why on there, I think would be interesting. Just so, because like, 
people's opinions on games and how they rate them is like very very subjective so it's like for example, on like Sea of Stars, I'd be like, oh yeah, it has really, like for music, I'd be like, yeah, the real all the music is like a bop, it's really good. Um, but on, you know, if I would look at a, at a con for the music, I'd be like, it do, it's not the kind of, like, while it's really good, amazing even, it's not the kind of music that like gets stuck in my head the, w the same way that like Chrono Trigger music would get stuck in my head. So I'd be like, on the plus side, like, music's amazing, it's a bop, like, it feels really good, it goes well, it's very fitting. So, like, those would all be, like, um, positives to the music. And then, like, on the negative, you're like, it's not the kind of music that gets stuck in your head forever. It's not an earworm. So it's like, while it's good, I'm probably not still thinking about it, like, three days later. <laughs> I'm kind of looking at that Aerodactyl as probably the one we're going to go for. Depending on what the last thing in the forest is. No, Joey Run? No. Absolutely not. Might as well get the items, right? Because we're here. Ooh, we got a PP up. Black flute. Here. Sometimes in the back half of the forest, I'm more likely to find the last thing. Sometimes. Apparently, it's just a bunch of Corsola. Now 14 going back to music, sorry. <gasps> oh, it's an ominite. Womp womp. Alright, we're gonna go look for the aerodactyl. Um Back on the topic of the music. 14. This song even. This is the kind of shit that gets stuck in my head and I'm thinking about it three days later. Even if it like doesn't hit as hard as like some of the other songs, I'm still thinking about this one like a while later. <laughs> Nothing in this forest but coral and rats. Yes, exactly. All right, we're gonna we're gonna master ball this aerodactyl and just fucking take it. Let's go. Your name shall be Master. Way to commit. Yep, I didn't see anything else I wanted. Goodbye, Miss Taco. I'll see you later as an HM friend, maybe, if we survive. Ooh, the last move was Absorb. Boo. I don't know why I saved. I didn't even need to. Uh, we got Drought. We have no special defense. Good looking out for that water and, and grass. We're going to die. Beautiful. All right, let's go. It's Sadu with a Paris. Thank God it's weak to poison. Why would you use protect on yourself, you asshole? Why do you hurt so bad? Oh, because I don't have special defense. Never mind. Let's establish this. Well, this is a problem. Up, oh, we're dead. I'm like, there was not really much I could do after Sludge Bomb because Scratch isn't going to hit it, and we're not allowed to use Absorb. <laughs> Thank you, Sadu. 
That was terrible. What a terrible turn of events. Good job, Master. You did terribly, but that's okay. You tried. Uh, I forgot what we were doing. Ethelune, where do you want to go next? Left, middle, or right? Summon Darkness. Let's go lefties. Whoops. Hold on. Bootops is an orphan. Linoon is the anemone. And we're getting... Oh, it's illegal! No! I don't want to fight it. We're going to take the noodle. I'm going to call you nudes. Summon Darkness also immediately popped into your head. Beautiful. That means they did their job correctly. Uh, I guess all we can do is Iron Tail. Ow! Ow! We're dead. Goodbye, my nudes. Alrighty, space butter. Uh, where do you want to go next? Left, middle, or right? Big gang. Radita is an orphan. Charizard's the anemone. No, I love Charizard. Oh, Dragonair, though. Okay, I'm good with this. Never mind. True it! Fuck. I don't think Pokemon lets you swear. It's got self destruct. Oh, it's got sketch! I wish it wasn't true it. Hey. <laughs> I probably should have took the bright powder off, but it's kind of irrelevant. <sighs> okay. Just bite it. And we're dead. Yep, okay. Ripperoni. Uh, I want to do another mid. We're gonna go another mid. Spoink is an orphan. Weeping Bell is the anemone, and we're getting. Oh, it's the little bug crab grass. Crab grass. Okay, your name's crab grass now. Alright, crab grass has blaze kick. That should help, right? I also got sleep powder, so you know, that's something. Is it good? <laughs> no, but it's something. You also have egg bomb? What a dickhole. Alright, we're dead. The music makes the lab fight so dramatic, right? The music is a mood, and the mood helps to offset the, uh, you know, the normal vibes. Now we're getting whatever vibes Spotify tells us to have. Damn, these are some good vibes, though. Crazy motorcycle? Amazing. Alright, what's it say? Mid gang. Whoa. Scuffed it. Give me a sec. There we go. 
Linoon is Norfin. Starmie is the Anemone, and we're... Okay. All right. All right. Oh, your name is James. I think we're going to secret power. I think that's the plan here. Nope, we're dead. Goodbye, James. All right, I have an idea. I have an idea. In honor of the work that I put into writing lore that I'm it's not even fully fleshed out. I'm going to write Actually, no. That doesn't fit. I'm going to we'll do we'll do it this way. And Wait, what was that NPC's name? It's just, that's her new antagonist. I hope I spell it right. <laughs> it fits. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit. All right, cool. Yeah, that dude. From the the tribal quest, because they're both. Do you know how hard it is to find keeper NPCs? There's not very many of them. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of keeper NPCs, and I was like, I need one to like tie into. I need more. And I'm like, this dude works. There we go. All right, uh, left. Alright, Tauros is an orphan. Oh, Swamp Arts the Anemone! No! no we have the Leap and Pell. <laughs> Why? No. Oh no. Oh no, this did not go well. Oh no. Oh no. We had two good options and it gave me neither of them. Although, I gotta say, the Leap and Bell does have moves. Holy shit, and too much speed. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't have anything else. It does not have anything else. We're severely lacking in the other other department. That's a signal beam. Unless you turn fr Yep, we're dead. Uh, thanks. Thanks for that. Okay. Well, we tried. I had the potential to be funny, but it was just sad. And where would you like to go next? Left, middle, or right? Maybe mid gang will be nice. Marsh Stomp is an orphan. Hound Dower is the enemy, and we get a Termillion. You know what? I'm fine with this. With a hyper potion! That's pretty cool. I'm gonna call you Zoomies because you had a Hyper Potion on you. Which is not a very good reason, but it is a reason. I guess we can shoot rocks at the dog, sure. Why not? Let's go. Disabled my rock blast? What an asshole! That's not good. That is, in fact, really bad. You dick! You suck! I hate you! Dumb dog.
right, Space Butter, uh, where would you like to go next? Left, middle, or right? He says, right gang. The Viper is an orphan. Nose pass is the anemone. And from the right is a blissy, yo! Good pick, good pick. I'm gonna call you Brava. With stab swift? I'm down. It's slow. No, I don't remember what black glasses does. Hopefully nothing important. Mm. I guess we'll try the ice ball first. Did like nothing. All right, Swift. Ow! Oh, we're asleep. Son of a... Oh, I hate you so much. That was awful. Why was that so awful? Can't believe you put us to sleep. What an asshole. Alright, let's look at what it would have been. If we had made it out... Yeah, the speed was an issue. Uh, we would have got Thief, which is kind of eh. Secret power, poison gas, arrow blast. Ooh, arrow blast would have been nice. Dragon claw, brick break. Mm. We would have had speed issues the whole time, though. Ooh, sacred fire, though. It may have been okay, but probably not. <laughs> Brava did not deserve that. It was very sad. I'm sad for Brava. Uh, I haven't picked a left yet. This today, we're gonna we're gonna go left. I did a right, and then I did a mid. We'll do a left for Momo, because Momo left me. Maybe I can call him over, Momo. Maybe I can get the cat over, Mr. Momo. Hey, here we go. I'm not talking to you. Abra is an orphan, Ludicolo is the anemone, and Momo is an alakazam! Ooh, good pick. Momo magic. Of course, Chico's like, Mommy doesn't love me when you call for Momo. I know, right? He just looked at me like, why are you calling for my brother when I am right here? I'm like, it's because you feckin' ignored me, child. Well, all we can do is dynamically punch. Oh, we have sketch, though. Let's not accidentally use sketch. Yeah, I get confused, nerd. Ooh, that hurt. No! How could you quit? How? Why? I'm kind of upset about that. That was unfair. Also, we were gonna get Luster Purge though, but we were so slow. We were incredibly slow. That is really bad speed. <laughs> Dragon Rage is something you want in the beginning, not the end. Womp womp. Look, at least we have good music to die to, if nothing else. Alright. Let's see where Ardbird's going. Yang. 
Jirachi is an orphan, thank god. <gasps> Espeon? Noctowl? Okay. We can either go... Espeon is one of our favorites. We got Espeon and Umbreon on our favorites. So we could just take the Espeon, but then we have to fight a Jirachi. Or we can take the Noctowl and fight the Espeon. And I'm kind of thinking we take the Espeon. Even though it's a fucking Jirachi, but like, it's an Espeon. It, it is good EXP if we can manage to win. Yeah, that's very true. Um, your name... Yeah, your name shall be Emmet Eon. Can I do a dash? I can. Yep. Zenos took a Jirachi. That's really... Not encouraging. <laughs> Uh, actually cannot be lowered. Okay, that's cool. I guess we're gonna mud shot the Jirachi. Sure, why not? Let's give it a go. That did decent damage. That did pretty okay damage. You might not have defense. Ow. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Fuck! I should have used the fucking max potion! Shit, I forgot! That would have just killed us anyway, though, because then it would have done it again, and then we would have been in the same spot. Never mind. Didn't matter. <sighs> I'm just gonna be sad. Alright, let's look at what would have been. No HP! That was our downfall. We lacked HP. I see, I see. Uh, we were gonna get Sky Attack, Ice Punch, Psy Wave. Ooh, Psy Wave! Hmm. Interesting. Then mirror coat, hydro pump, shadow ball. Ooh, shadow ball. Good. And have potential minus the low HP. Low HP is never a good thing because you'll always end up dying eventually. Like I don't think I've ever seen a a mon with low HP make it super far. That was just unfortunate stats. All right, let's try it. Let's try the the lore game again. Ugh, except I hate trying to spell this name. God damn it! Oh, I gotta do it again because I hit the wrong button. Hey, you want to know something funny about this NPC, uh, Naza Job? When I was looking him up, because I'm just trying to, like, look up Keeper of the- Keeper of the Moon NPCs. Uh, apparently, some people in the community refer to him as Walmart Xenos. Because he was, like, a, like, I want to fight some bitches to find someone stronger than me type character before Xenos existed. And he was not very well fleshed out. And I was like, that's kind of funny. <laughs> but the thing is, he doesn't stalk you. He is not a stalker. So I'm like, I actually don't dislike him. Smeargol is an orphan. Jir fucking Jirachi again. What is it this time? All right, Jirachi with the taco. Let's go. I don't think either of these moves is gonna work well on a Jirachi, so I don't think this taco is gonna make it. This is going to go incredibly poorly. Maybe I can just keep you from hitting me. Nope, never mind. You're just gonna kill me. That's a stab, Iron Tail. 
At least the music is binging, yeah. Alright, Ethelune, where do you want to go next? Left, middle, or right? Right gang? Worst gang. Golduck is an orphan, Haunter is the anemone, and right gang is indeed the worst one. It is a Pichu. Do I want to try to friendship Evo this? No, the answer is absolutely not. the worst. We do have Stab Thunderbolt and Volt Tackle, though. Volt Tackle does recoil. Yep, water sport was very helpful. You're so well protected. I'm horrified and scared and stuff. We're free! Why did that work? Why did this work? I should have ran as a French. Whatever, fuck it. I don't know. I mean, triple kick over volt tackle might be a good idea so that we don't have to worry about getting hit. Oh, but it's less accurate. But it's also like throwing in some fighting. So I don't think we need both volt tackle and thunderbolt. Volt tackle is stronger, but the problem is it does recoil, which can really suck. And I'm talking about like we're gonna actually keep this Pichu. No, you're- no, you're not gonna learn spikes, no. Yeah, stop learning that. Now I'm like, what if we keep the Pichu? <laughs> That's a lot of running, dude. Well, well, we'll look at our options. Oh, it's a Quagsire. They have the best face. Oh, this is- Quagsire's gonna kill us. Yeah, we're dead. All right, let's see what Peachy would have been. It would have evolved. Oh God, its stats are so bad. It was going to evolve into a Mareep, which would have been also terrible, but faster. So we might have been able to pivot instead of just dying if we had wasted a lot of time. Wow, it would have kept evolving. Holy shit. <laughs> Until it eventually became an Electabuzz with no defense that was going to just die. Well, that happened. All right, Space Apoda, where do you want to go next? Left, middle, or right? He says mid gang. Love disc is an orphan. Tropius is the anemone, and from the bottom, it's a mid squirtle. Um, I'll call you boss. Boss turtle. All right, boss turtle, let's go. I think we take down. Don't- why did you put me to sleep? You... you dickbag. I had stabbed Giga Drain. What an asshole! Why would you do that to a little baby turtle? He's distracted by Deki's face? Please tell me he's trying to write Hideki lore. 
Because I need the Hideki lore and then like something about how he's going to turn into Komaki-san from uh, Yakuza 0. I need- I need the background lore be behind young- young Hideki Kome Komaki that's going to turn him into Komaki-san from Yakuza 0. Where- what is Komaki-san's origin story? I need it. I need it. Not that I don't want Dorn's origin story too. But I need deckies. Decky is best. It's true because Decky is a potato. You cannot compete. Uh, where do I feel like going? I'm gonna go mid. Fortress is an orphan. Chat gets the machoke, and I pick the parasect. Let's call you Paradise. Like, power, power, paradise. Why? I don't know. Hmm? Give me that. Alright, we're gonna go scream at a fool. Or hide, I don't know. Probably scream at him first. That did nothing. That one shot us. All right. Crab's gonna need some therapy. <laughs> Somebody threw rocks at my poor little crab. I'm quickly running out of seeds. I don't have other seeds prepared after this, just so y'all know. I was also thinking after the seed batch of god damn it of taking a little break, but I'm not sure what I would want to do instead. And I was contemplating doing some deep donger. Or doing Baldur's Gate. But I was contemplating deep donger. It's been a while since we did deep donger, and I kinda miss it. All right, but where are we going? Bot says wheel. Amerik says like, look, these picks are not working out. Ask somebody else. Okay. And the wheel says raking. All right, let's go. Elekid is an orphan. Growlith is Growlith is the anemone, and this is an Arbuck. I'm gonna call you Boko. So the fun thing about if we do Deep Donger on Mondays is that if Neo Neko is also home and available, we can do a group Deep Donger. That'd be pretty fun. I'm gonna Hydro Pump this dog. Alright. Do it again. We're free! Good job, Boko. Yeah, more suffering in EO. It's been a while. I'm super down to do that. Alright, let's go find a friend. I have your attention. Uh, after we finish this batch of seeds, we might switch to doing something else for a bit. Possibly Deep Donger. And then if Neonecho is also free, that means we can do group EO runs or group anything runs. I'm down for whatever. No, I have to do the lap. I was like, what am I doing? Where am I going? Who am I? Where am I? Not like Captain EO, but like Eureka Orthos, you know what I mean? Shift tree, the worst. Shift tree and Cacturin have like so many fucking weaknesses. Can you let me go? How much speed do you have, asshole? Yo, that black bear! 
welcome on in, raiders. Hello, hello. I'm Sparkling Parfait. How's it going? How was your waifu wars or whatever that game's called? No, I'm sorry you guys came in on an ad break. That's very sad. I'm sorry. Anyway, how was waifu wars? Dive, dive, dive! I am Sparkling Parfait. We are playing Kaizo Ironmon, uh, which is a Pokemon challenge run. But you should know, I think, that Black Bear plays it sometimes. Destiny Bond? Well, you are not a very nice bird. Let me out of here. It's all good. You were doing some last minute wishing, but you didn't quite get it. What does that mean? Were you pulling for waifus? Is that what that means? I don't play gotchas. Well, I say that, but there is a gotcha I accidentally picked up and I've only touched once, but I'm kind of tempted to play again because it was fun. Pulling. Got it. Sort of convolari or something. Whatever the fuck it was called. I don't remember. It's a tactics-like game and the, t like, the actual gameplay is really fun. I'm just like put off by the fact that gotcha's going to be involved. You would have shifted into Ironmon, but you got sleepy. Ironmon wakes you up because you start screaming and crying about how much your life sucks. And like, why is this Pidgey beating up my snake that should be able to eat it in one bite? How does that even work? Why does the P Pidgey even have a fang that is hyper to bite me with? Where did you get this fang, Pidgey? As far as I know, you don't have teeth! Ooh, Mawile, though. Hello. Hi, hello there. Ow. It's kind of strong. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. Hold on, no. Wily? Or could I call you Wily? Why not? Alright, I got a Mawile! Now the Arbok is dead! Nah, the Arbok might be our HM friend, it's not gonna die. I'm usually too lazy to go look for an HM friend. Alright, you can chill in there. Alright, we got a Mawile with Minus, which sucks. Boy, does it have a lot of speed. Signal Beam, Blaze Kick, and Bone Club. That's actually a pretty nice spread of moves. I wish it had more attack. It's okay. It's not great. But it's alright. At the very least, we'll have a easier time getting away from stupid shit. <laughs> So that black bear, I was talking about how over the weekend I added more lore to, to Kira Meki because I was like, I kind of want to flesh out my character because that's not a thing that I've ever done and I usually just kind of like YOLO pick whatever I feel like at the moment. Um, but like that was fun. So like, you know, when are you going to give me more about your character? And we we're also saying that we need to know Deki's lore because I'm very invested in hearing the lore about how Hideki Komeki becomes Komeki-san in uh, Yakuza 0. I'm very interested in this lore. <gasps> Hello there, beautiful Typhlosion. Hi, how are you? Hello. What if I kicked you? Okay, that did pretty good damage. Fucking exploded on me! It was uh, accidental! I wasn't trying to farm him, I'm never gonna do it again. <laughs> Maybe doing some writing during the week, possibly both Choco and Raw. Ooh, Raw lore? That's your main, right? I'm very interested in knowing more about your main. Alright, so the Typhlosion is terrible. <laughs> He's 
not your main, but he has a lot of flavor. Right, because he's your main. You can admit it. I mean, chocolate is even, you know, like, typically a dessert, so, like, I get it. I get that Choco's not your main. I understand. Chocolate is quite delicious. But chocolate's not your main. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Choco's not your main. Yeah, that's what I said. It was, we weren't expecting that the band started up to going into the song. Which is this? Is this big band? Oh yeah, they've been big band. They're very, very good. You've been bamboozled? No, 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 no. We all know the truth. You can't lie to us. Why would you lie to your friends? Worst of all, rather than lying to your friends, why would you lie to yourself? Don't do that. It's not good for your heart. For your soul. When? What? There's two more Pokemon in this damn forest. When do I get to see them? Hello? Maybe I'll go pick up items. Maybe I'll just go pick up items. Twisted spoon. Yum. Ooh, Ultra Ball. Saul, hello. Hello, pretty. What if I kick you? It did a lot of damage. I don't think the Absol is very good either. Which is unfortunate because Mawel has very low BST. 380 is not good. Please let the last Pokemon in the forest be something good. Anyway, what did you get up to this weekend at Black Bear? How you doing? Wow, first I couldn't find the Absol at all and then I see it twice. Great. It's a quillfish! Boo! I think we're running the Mawile. Unless I want to risk trying to get that Typhlosion that blew up on us. But I don't really want to. Just feel like we're gonna get taken out by a fire move. Let me in. There we go. 
All right, let's go. Uh, don't think this actually hits when they're awake. Yep, fails if target's not asleep. That's not going to help us. Uh, sure, kick them. Get burned, idiot! Ooh, the tri attack. Months for it? No, that's okay. Hey, we did it. We beat a trainer. What an accomplishment! It's it only took like over an hour. Uh, you got a few shenanigans, some level twenty one shot action in D and D with your old high school group. Oh, that's pretty fun and exciting. Level twenty sounds very high, and like you have a lot of things to choose from and look at. That sounds complicated. Add some good food, and then just getting rained on. Can you can you give me your rain? I want rain. I like rain a lot, and like it ran it rained like for a little while, like maybe like a few hours down here, and then like, and then it stopped, and then I was like, oh, sad. Ante, you mother. Please. Oh. It just mementoed on us. I mean, that's one way to kill the Entei, I guess. Yep, that's one way to deal with that. Okay. Well, this is gonna go terribly. Alright, good crit. Don't tickle me! I don't know how we survived that. How did that work? Holy shit, we have a disgusting amount of defense! Disgusting! Disgusting! Get several downpours. Yeah, give it that. Give that to me. I want that. We're all speed and defense here. Artbart runs are weird, man. I was trying to look. Yeah, this, my bag. What do I have anything? Nope. Nope. Okay. I was like, maybe I've got like, I don't know, some PP app or uh, stat changing items and then, because I couldn't remember what I picked up. We, we've been through so many seeds already today that I was just like, I don't, I don't remember, man. Alas. Go away, Oddish! Alright, fight me. It's a golem! Guess we're gonna bone club it! Or we can miss? Just keep, let's just keep doing this. It'll work eventually. Yay, we did it! We're free! Ooh, new move day? Perish song! No. No. Yeah, stop learning that. You stop that. Well, I guess if anything uses rest, we'll be able to eat their dreams, and that'll be kind of nice. That's something. Of all the new moves, why Parish Song? There's a lot of things that I would want it to not be, but like... Parish Song is potentially useful if you have soundproof. If you have soundproof, it's amazing! Guess what we don't have?
Iu. Doom, doom, doom. That's a ghost Pokemon. We're going to Blaze Kick. Yay! That's another ghost Pokemon. Okay, sure. Why not? Let's throw bones at it. Nope, I'm going to Blaze Kick it. Oh, Bone Rush is the one I thought we had, but we don't have that. We have Bone Club. Okay. Houndoom. I guess we're throwing more bones at you. Yeah, don't throw rocks at me. Yep, somehow that worked. Okay, we're alive. That club's getting some work in. I know, right? Don't you just wish it was Earthquake? I wish it was Earthquake. A stab move of some kind would be pretty appreciated, actually. Not the bad one. The bad there's a bad one that's like a two turner. That one sucks. Fight me. We have so much defense. We have so much defense, I'm not even sure if I'm actually worried about steel moves. Only fire. Uh, blaze kick. <gasps> I missed. Oh no, I'm wrapped. Stop missing! Alright, we're good. Yay! Oh my god, we cleared the forest. With a 380 BST mon. Hello, for being 380 BST mon, is actually not bad because it's steel typing, and steel typing is pretty good. Especially when one of your defenses is pretty much negating one of your weaknesses. <laughs> Rematch time! Oh yeah, it's Ardbert! Ardbert runs are weird, man. Alright, let's go! Let's fight Xenos! Xenos has a Torkoal! I'm gonna throw bones at it! I'm gonna miss! Yep, that's not really worth it. I think we just blaze kick it anyway. Also not that good. It's boosting its defense though, so Blaze Kick is the way to go. Oh, good crit, good crit, very nice. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, just keep icy winding me. Bone Club! Yeah! Oh my god, I actually I finally get to fight Brock. It's been so long since I got to fight Brock. Good job, Wily. Maybe if we make it to Lavender Town, I'll give you a better name. to fight the crony at least that's true the crony could kill us the one i'm still surprised about is the entei dragonite combo i was like there's no way this ends well for us and then the entei killed itself and i'm like oh, okay <laughs> well then <laughs> Here goes nothing. It's Hermes with a Mighty Anna. I'm gonna try signal beaming. Yep, that's what I wanna do. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. That was revenge, okay. It's 
gonna do baby damage to us, so I feel like we need to use some of our little baby heal. Prepare for Brock. While it's, you know, only chipping at us. Yeah, hit yourself. Thank you. Nice, right, not too bad. Here we go! It's Mitron with an Abra. We're gonna signal beam it. It changed a bug type. Interesting. That was a choice that you made. Pursuit? I mean, better than Dream Eater, which we're not gonna really be able to use, right? Signal beam. Please kick it. Yeah, that didn't work out too well for us. All right, nice. Please kick it. Dip burn, did he? Ow. Oh, Dream Eater's illegal? Oh yeah, you're right. We wouldn't be able to use it anyway. Not that I would have tried, because, like, when are, we, when are we ever gonna put anything to sleep? You know? We have no moves to put things to sleep. We're not gonna learn one. That'd be a waste of a spot. I didn't even think about it, just because I'm like, what a pointless move. It's not even good. He's free! Oh my god! Wily made it. Holy shit, Wily. I'm sorry I doubted you. Alright, what's 39? What's TM39? Ice punch! Ooh, ice punch. Ooh, ice punch. Hold on. Now I gotta look at some type coverage. I don't even know if it's learnable. Hold on, let's check if it's learnable. If it's not learnable, let's not waste our time here. Oh, <gasps> it's learnable. It's learnable. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. So, right, we got fire, we got bug. Bone Club's doing work, so we need to keep those. So, we might use it to replace Pursuit, because Pursuit kind of sucks, but. Uh, so we get f uh, 129 normals with ice. With dark is 165. Oh yeah, ice is the better choice here. It gives us more coverage. All right, so I think we get rid of pursuit and learn ice, uh, ice punch instead. I think we punch some nerds with ice. And it's so so much stronger. It's so much stronger. Beautiful. All right, that was fruitful. Holy shit. We got out. Holy shit. We got like half of a run because the other challenge is actually getting out of Mount Moon. We die there a lot too. Where's my map? Actually, we got to go through the training montage anyway. Apply CD directly to the forehead. That's how learning works, right? You learn through osmosis. Just apply it straight to your forehead. Ow, that hydro cannon actually really hurt. I'm gonna ice punch you. Beautiful. Club. 
Why does everything have hydro cannon today? Leave my poor baby alone. Ice punch that bird. Beautiful. Please kick that metapod. Yeah. Our defense is insane. That is a Grudon. Thank God we have Ice Punch! Ow, he gave me the clamps. Ow. I just ice punched a Vulpix. Great. Take that, nerd! Oh, sorry, it was Sadu. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, wife. I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry. Actually, it's Ardbert. You can go ahead and punch Ardbert. It's not me. It's not me! It's Ardbert. Punch Ardbert. It's fine. This is how Ardbert dies, because he said mean things to Sadu. <gasps> I can ice punch the Dragonite now. Beautiful. Get wrecked, idiot! Meant to throw bones at it, but ice punching a P2 is fine. This is fine. Ooh, rare candy. Signal beam. Punch the dog. Take that, Laha bread. Lovely shot music. Kick the much up. Uh, kick the ice ball thing. High ball ice cube. I don't know what it is. All right, new move day. What do we get? Wish! It's super illegal! I don't want it. Connie Senna with a Wobbuffet. Signal Beam. No, why would you arm thrust me? Signal Beam again! Not the clamps! It's Crow with a Charmander. Throw bones at it. That was not so bad. That could have been a lot worse. Crowd tried to kill us. You were potatoes. X defend. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, I should probably head back into town and see if I can pick up more repels. Although we're really fast, maybe it doesn't matter. Other than just for navigation purposes, it's nice to have the repels. And also, what am I going to spend my money on? We made it past the training montage. That's more than like, you know, a couple other Mon who made it to the training montage and then died. Sometimes the montage just throws you an asshole Jirachi. Okay, now I need the map to tell me where to go. Uh, where 
is my map? Oh, there it is. Which one's Mount Moon? That's Victory Road. Where's the Mount Moon? That looks like it. Let me find it over here, too. Well, I didn't think we'd be getting this far today, so that's cool. Let me just repel while we're picking up items. Are we doing rooting? Dragon Breath. Big Pearl. This one is one. The item is in this rock. White Flute! Damn, those didn't spawn. This goes to four. Where am I? Down there. X speed. Came in at around 6,300, I think. Ooh, person berry. Okay. That's something. Turn around. Thank you. It's Reen with the Manectric. I don't like that you're doing that, no. Not a fan. Please stop. Yeah, I hate the I hate the spinners. Nobody likes spinners. Spinners are everybody's enemy, no matter what kind of Pokemon you're running. Kill yourself! Thank you. Goodbye, whale. Alright, amulet coin. Soothe bell, boo. Yum. Alright, this went to... two... Poison barb, nice. Okay. Yes, keep using repels. This goes to five. Macho brace, boo, not helpful. All right, so we don't need to go down two because we got everything, but we do need to keep going down one. Where am I? Focus band. I think we keep running around one for right now. I think that's my plan, actually. Just in case we get poisoned and can't come back. I don't want to lose that on the items. All right, we're going to farm for a bit. Uh, what's 6,300 plus? Actually, I'll just go check it again at like 9k. Make it easy. Alright, so what are y'all what are y'all going what's what's going on with everybody this week? Uh anyone got anything cool planned? What are y'all getting yourselves into? What are y'all up to? Lots of work. Three out of four days? You only have to work a max of four days. Oh wait, because today was a holiday. Got it. Never mind. I figured it out. I'm smart sometimes. Cuddling cats all day, every day. That is the life. I wish someone would just pay me like an absurd amount of money every day to cuddle my cats. You could even require that I play with the cats or snack with the cats or whatever. I'll just like generally try to pay attention to the cats for eight hours a day and I would do it for a stupid amount of money. 
and be like, yeah, fuck working. Let's just play with cats. Today is a holiday, yes. A bunch of my vendors were closed, which was really inconvenient because I needed them to give me answers on stuff, and I'm like... Ah, I gotta wait till tomorrow. On the bright side, though, I do only have a four-day work week because I'm off Friday for somebody's birthday and we're going to go have fun at, at, a, at a place. Four-day weeks are nice. I wish every week was a four-day work week and I still made the same amount of money. I would be a lot happier. I'd be like, holy shit, I have time to do things and I can schedule appointments to do stuff. Like, go to the doctor or go to the dentist. Things that I have not done in, like, a couple of years because I'm like, I never have time to do shit. Plus, like, even when you make, force yourself to make time to do shit, you still have to miss out on, like, time when you could be making money, and that sucks. <laughs> Anyway, people should have four-day work weeks. That's what, that was my point. That would be ideal. So many onyxes, sis, 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 onyx eye. What? Onyxes? Onyxes? Onyx Eye? Onyxia? No, that's the wrong game. Right, let's do the item check. Adultery in Gridania? Wait, what? Why is there adultery in Gridania? What's happening? Who's committing crimes? What's going on? Oh, Space Papoto's doing the seasonal quest. I got it. Okay, understood. That makes a lot more sense. I'm like, whoa. Did somebody start finally working on their lore and like, I should know some shit? Or like, is somebody witnessing like an RP meltdown happening? Both very valid answers that I would 100% fully believe. Meanwhile, that black bear is like, adultery? Fine, but Gridania? I see you got your priorities straight. I understand. Well, maybe I don't understand. I respect it, but I don't understand it. Here we go. You don't have to understand things to respect them. Just get- understand- or, uh, wait, hold on. Just respect that other people have differing opinions than you, and then, you know, respect that even if you don't get it. It's fine. As long as they're not doing anything that harms anybody else, who the fuck cares? thinking about like what kind of lore can I write for my other characters my hero has like no personality because I'm just kind of like eh here's <laughs> eh. they're they're human who cares
Uh, we're running, we're running, and we're gonna check next when the walk encounter hits 12k. I want the items. See how weak this, this Mawile is? It needs all the help it can get. You gotta take your Pokemon out for a walk sometimes. Sorry, I'm just- I probably should have said- been talking, but like, I was honestly just vibing to the music, thinking about it. Uh, alright, what else can we talk about? Let's see, there's lore, there's... What can I ask you guys about? Oh, I know. That Black Bear in your Waifu Wars game, who is your favorite? Not that, like, I'm gonna understand any of it, but, like, you know, help me understand who your favorite is. Like, who do you like to use or whom you, d you just look and go... Heart? I don't care either. Whatever you want to define your favorite as. Favorites are like... In Iron Mod. It's very subjective and can be very situational. Sometimes the one you had the most sentimental value can be, you know, hot garbage for Iron Mon, And that's okay, they're still your favorite, just not in Iron Mon. <laughs> Or you can be unhinged like Ethelune, yes. Whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you happy. That's you in Genshin. Is it all thirst? Is it a thirst trap for you? Do you only have thirst? Let's see if we... Alright, we'll check at 15. There are a lot more waifus for multiple raisins. You're also a fan of kits that characters have? Who would you say is your number one top favorite waifu for whatever criteria you're using to define favorite waifu as? Or Husbando, I don't judge. I know that there's like some dudes in there. I think Neo Neko's favorite character is a himbo or something. Some homeless oni of some sort. Starting favorite Lisa. Who is Lisa? Tell me all about Lisa. There's a thing that you can download that will make it run for you, but it doesn't really work for this purpose. She's a lightning magic caster that's like a librarian teacher. That does sound like somebody that you would favor. The hot nerd in the glasses. Got it. Something something Bayonetta. Pretty much. Or actually? Actually what?
That's a major reason for one of the more recent characters that you like. Did I witness that? I don't remember. Genshin stuff like goes in one eyeball out the other and I'm like, okay. <laughs> All I know is that y'all are monsters because you mercilessly invade the home territory of poor innocent slimes that are just trying to live and then you attack them to collect their body parts. Like the bastards that you all are. Monsters. Chanyun, tall lady, but whose real name is Cloud Retainer. Wait, is that a is that lady a bird? I think I was watching some of that when somebody was doing it. I don't remember who it was, but there was nobody else that like on for me to watch. She is a bird. Okay. I paid a little bit of attention. I'm like, okay, this person is a burb. And for some reason that means something. Okay. So who do you like better, the burb or Lisa? Also glasses. I mean, glasses are cool. I do still prefer my contacts over my glasses. But like, my eyeballs don't get along with my contacts right now. I need to get new glasses actually, now that I think about it. Or I need to really clean these. <laughs> I did buy a cleaner. I should probably clean my glasses. Anyway, I prefer non-glasses. But I understand and respect that some people like glasses. Sunglasses, though. Sunglasses just make you look cool, like the Squirtle Squad. As for who, well again, lots of waifus fit that bill for Genshin. No, 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 I specifically asked you which one you like better, the bird or Lisa? Oh, wait, hold on. You did answer that. I just have to scroll up. Animo... Anemic? Oh, a wind user. Bit haughty and also very tsundere, has sweet motherly vibes and equal parts to her harshness. Okay, that didn't answer the question. Do you like your anemic bird, uh, your, your anemic bird librarian or like the, the power bank, lightning, whatever. Electric librarian. Apparently the one who's got a stranglehold on you is the anemic, bir anemic bird. Got it. Okay, cool. Good to know. She knows how to cook for a small platoon. That's cool. Cooking's a good skill to have. And an inventor. I mean, smart people can are very multi-talented. Especially smart people who read a lot of books. <laughs> and from what I understand, the bird lady's been alive for like a really fucking long time. So it's like, yeah, you better have picked up some skills during that time. Otherwise, what were you doing? If we get to 21k on the steps, we'll stop. That's my cutoff. Or if I run out of things to talk about. Cat first told you that that was the bird. Your brain first had to reconcile the fact it was indeed the cloud retainer. And then now you just melt. Okay. The bear has the hots for birds. Got it. Understood. Well, maybe not understand, but respect it. I'm not here to judge. <gasps> That's 
That's right. I will judge you if you go after Metion, though. Leave her alone! She's too baby, yeah. Leave her sweet baby Twitter alone. You will not- She's a baby! Leave her alone! Garuda is scary. No, Garuda's perfect. She's like unhinged and I love her. Siren will just kill you. Siren's a siren. I like Garuda because she's unhinged. I may really enjoy the psychopaths, but not when they stalk you. That's where I draw the line. But if they're psychopaths, that doesn't bother me. Like, they can be all like, hey, you want to go stab people together? And I'll be like, yeah, sure, let's go. But if they're, like, following me around, then I'm like, nah, dude, I need personal space. Hey, you can stay away from Sadi, that's my wife. You can like Lazel, that's fine. I found someone better than Lazel. I found somebody who's more stabby and more unhinged. And then I lost interest in Lazel. <laughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. I like stopped moving and like muted because I was sneezing. Um, yeah, Lazel is like. She's like. Yes, commit murder, because strength and fighting, but also I'm really into my my religious worship of my leader and my country, and I have very strong nationalism, and I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Genshin came out, you feel that felt them really hard, the waifus. Okay, okay. So it is waifu wars and you're very into it, got it, I understand. I understand that that's the appeal. I get it. I do. There's some- there's a flavor out there for everybody. That's how dating sims are so popular. That's probably why people really like Baldur's Gate, because it's not only a fun game, but you have a, like, a variety of characters for you to romance. And you'll usually like one of them, at least. There's usually someone that you'll like. And be like, that person's pretty cool. Wait, hold on. I just realized something. I think the more unhinged person does kind of stalk you a little bit, and that makes her less appealing. Damn. Ooh, quick claw! Moonstone! Our shit spawned. We're free, we're free! Alright. Time to re up the repels. Repeat ball. Boo. Not even anything good. Yeah, it's Husky's rendition. Husky does really good work. If y'all don't know Husky, go check out Husky by the Geek. He's amazing. Oh shit. Fucking spinners! That's a Bagon. We're gonna ice punch it. Well, Lord. I meant to do the other one. Signal beam. All right, we're good. Well, at least I took care of two spinners. Mm. 
Rough skin, asshole. I don't like that you did that. I'm not a fan of that. Fairway Bone Club. Nice punch you. Throw away Bone Club. Nice punch you again. Motherfucker. I should have just kicked you. Wasted a bunch of my PP. What a jerk. It's a swine up. We're gonna kick it. We missed. You put us to sleep, you jerk! Infatuation. Oh, that's a flute, not an herb. I'm not gonna use anything, I just wanna know what I have. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! There we go. And my cargo bone club! Beautiful. Hey, speaking of Metion, Metion was a scholar. Always take the Helux fossil. This is Twitch. Ooh, max potion? Hype. Alright, let's go back and fight some nerds. Nope, I already fought you. It's a Tokitik. We're gonna ice punch it. It's a Wobbuffet. We're going to signal beam. Beautiful. I'm definitely ice punching you. That's my wife's other wife, Serena. Ice punch. Oh, why are you alive? from the Cacnea. Run away from the Tentacruel. Hey! Hey! Hi! Fight me! Bone Club! Mmm! That didn't do as much as I was hoping. Maybe we try the Blaze Kick. Yep, that'll work. A little baby ball! Signal Beam! Ooh. Ice punch? Oh, blaze. Oh, the sun is shining. That helps us with our blaze kick. Okay. You're so hyped to murder brute justice. Me too. I'm very much looking forward to it. We shall return to him soon. We will build up our skills. I'm actually, I feel a lot better about this, oh hey, it's me, about this group than our last group, TBH, in our ability to beat Brute Justice. The last, the last group had some problems. We did our best. Wanna, like, maybe memento yourself again?
gonna run out of bone clubs, and that's not very good. Okay. High jump kick? Nah, dude. That's not- that's not a great move. Uh, what can I- what do I have left for heals? Nothing I really want to use. I have a max potion and a hyper potion. Uh... For some odd reason, the network over your PC but not for your phone for Twitch, which is weird. Yeah, that is pretty weird. I'm gonna check the trainer counts. There is a trainer who has only one. And a couple with only two. And then there's a couple rockets that I skipped. We'll also have two. We're getting kind of low on HP though. Let's go fight the onesie. And then I'll think about if I want to do another one. We already fought this guy. Oh, we can't be poisoned because we're steel. That's a good thing. Not that one already. All right, we'll risk it. Hopefully it'll be okay. Tentacruel, please stop. All right, Magby, that's fine. We can bone club the Magby. Linoon? Uh, Blaze kick the Linoon. Beautiful. I think we skipped the two rocket trainers, just in case. I think we're done here. I only have big heals left and I don't want to use them. Everybody else, though, so that's pretty good. Not a full clear of Mount Moon, but pretty good. Not too shabby. And we got all the items, which is really good. Do -do 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 -do. Mystic water and oh no more repels. No more no longer needed. Yellow flute boo. Grab that for fun. Then there's an item over here. Alright, what do we got over here? Eyeball boo. Alright, the last test is bridge rival. Actually, I guess the bridge in general, because I've died at the bridge due to a fucking pair song or something. Rematch! Rematch time! Alright, we'll put out the dust skull. I'm gonna kick it. Celebi, fucking grass, signal beam. Rude? Fucking cabbages. Swear to god. Place kick? Nice punch it. Alright. And a fire dog. Throw bones at it. Missed. Please stop missing. Beautiful. Alright, Bridge Rival is down. Did you know that Xenos was a fisher? I didn't even realize he was a fisher. 
If only. If only he would go ocean fishing on you. Take you out on nice trips on the boat. Maybe not try to throw you overboard because that would be, like, you know, beneath him. It's like, you know, a nice little fishing date. Oh, it's caustic acid. With a magby. We're gonna throw bones at it. <gasps> I love Vaporeon. Signal beam. Now, Aurora Beam, hurtful. I murdered their baby? It's fine. They'll get over it. The fairy! Boys kick! Under the drought! Beautiful. Mm, we can go another. We only lost 3 HP. Made a thread and popped lore for Rolgar, L Rolgar in there? Nice. I'm, I look forward to reading stories about your main. Now. Hurtful Leaf Blade. That is a stab bolt tackle! Ah! We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. It's okay. Maybe not okay. This might not be okay. It's okay. We're okay. We're okay. And just ice punch it and we'll be fine. Ooh. Alright, so Raiko's a problem. <laughs> really wishing my bone club was an earthquake. That'd be pretty sweet if we could get Earthquake. Yeah, I just want to shaka shaka jiggle me, uh, Electro, electro Dog. It's Gia with a Haunter. I'm gonna kick you instead. Good thing you had very little HP. That explosion was a little scary. We're gonna go heal again, just in case. That's two things that have exploded on us. Today. And I'm a little nervous about that. Like, why- why do you even need to have explosion? Why is that necessary? I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Ice punch! Oh, that was Space Papoto. Hey, thanks for the EXP. me. I got a nugget. I don't want to join Team Rocket, though. It's Dooley Achai. She was like, you should really join Team Rocket. I'm like, no, I'm good. Thanks. <gasps> Pharrella Gussy. Oh, it's got a lot of defense. It has a lot of defense. <laughs> I'm glad you're burned. We're okay, we're fine. It's Raha! Throw bones at it. Nice. No defense. Our attack's not even that good. So at this point, if we're one-shotting it, it has no defense. Signal beam. Beautiful. Let's go heal. 
Friends of friends. She murders us all. Yeah, it's true. TM11, huh? I think that said sketch, which means we're not going to get sketch. Yep. I don't think 11's on the gym TM list. Good check. No last night, but... Ooh, HP up, though. Our HP is a little low. TMs. Uh, nope, 11 is not on the list. Boo. Sketch would have been cool. Give me that HP up. Ooh, person berry, okay. Charizard. Ice punch it. That's concerning. That is real concerning. Charizard's gonna be a problem. got drizzled this time, so I can't... Oh, okay. That helps. Well, that was a problematic thing. We lost a lot of HP to just two Pokemon, so Charizard and Raikou are problems. It's Gaia with a Growlithe. Ow. Stop! Things are starting to hurt. Even though we're higher level than them. This is the downfall of our BST. <laughs> the problems are starting to show. Almost new move day! It's true, we're very close. <gasps> Americk! With another Mawile?! I know what your weakness is. This Bondo just wanted to help. And I appreciate him for it. Now, rough skin. Punch the worm. Nice. Punch the bird! Ooh, Shadow Ball. Machoke. Kick it. Beautiful. Game move day! Earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. Brick break? Brick break, not bad. Brick Break's not bad. Alright, what are we rolling right now? What if we... Look fighting instead of that? Ooh. No, we still need the ground. Shit. I don't know what I would want to get rid of. We could replace Signal Beam with Brick Break. That actually gives us more coverage somehow. There's less 4x effective, but there would be more 2x effective and less normal effectiveness. So that's an option. 
also breaks through light screen and reflect. But signal beam has a chance to confuse. Or... Oh, we need the ice for sure. I also feel like we need the fire. Yeah, we have to have fire. That's our shed coverage. Um, get rid of that. Yeah, we need both fire and ice. So I think... I think we get rid of signal beam. Which sounds crazy, I know. I know it sounds crazy, but it's overall gonna be more super effective. Bye bye, signal beam. You served us very well, and I'm proud of you, signal beam. Thank you. All right, that's a bird. We're gonna punch it. We're gonna punch the aerodactyl. We can go a little faster again. It's just a training montage. Hey, stop missing. Oh my god, stop missing! We're gonna go heal, and then we'll be back. <laughs> okay, we left off here. There's an item right there. Amulet coin, boo. Hyper Kid, Merlwib, Ice Punch. Ooh, break, break the crab! Ow. Do it again. It's the last trainer, we might as well fight him. Throw bounds at him. You have no defense. That's not- that wasn't even super effective. You just shred like paper. And we're gonna punch the baby bird. I hate you fucking cabbage! Thanks, Elidibus. Thank you. Another person berry. Cabbage has been destroyed, yes. Hello, Bill. Uh, sure, I'll help you. Activate the computer. Oh my god, that Pokemon turned into a human! Wow! Hey, thanks for the ticket. Yum. Yum. Now we heal. Heal, please. Thank you. Alright, let's fight the rocket, and then I think we might actually pause after that. Snorlax! I can brick break you now. Ow. Kinda hurt. Okay, has a lot of special defense, noted. Brick break it is! Oh, baby mander. Alright, we're gonna he reheal. 
And then we'll go outside of the underground. And then I think what we'll do is we'll start off next time with just uh, item farming. I think that's the plan. We have a run! God damn it, I am really bad about not hopping over that ledge. <sighs> I don't know why we have a run with a Mawild, but it exists, and that's okay. Gotta save. Let me do a couple save states just in case, too. Save state, we'll do it on zero. Cool! That went surprisingly well! I don't know how or why. Is it really okay? Is it really okay to have a run? Ball mile is okay. It's just okay. It's really low BST. I'm waiting for it to die. As soon as we get hit with a stab fire move, we're dead. There's no we have no way to defend ourselves. Our HP is not super high. Our defense is our special defense is pretty low. A fire move is gonna do us in. But we're really fast, so maybe we kill them before they kill us. That's the goal. Alrighty. Let's go to the ending screen. Whee! Hey! Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Oh, hold on. I gotta stop Spotify. There we go. It's playing over my outro music. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. It was nice to finally not only get out of the lab, but also pass Brock. And then after that, pass all these... Uh, out of the out of Mount Moon and past the bridge, all places that we have died before. Amazing. It was quite amazing. Um, but that's going to do it for us for the evening. It is getting a bit late. I should get ready and work in the morning. Um, yeah, that's fun. We will resume next week. Same time, same place. For more Kaizo Iron Mine. Uh, but for now, uh, next schedule stream is Thursday. We're going to be doing Rhythm Doctor, I'm pretty sure. And then Saturday, more Yakuza Zero, followed by a break and shenanigans with the Star Onion Brigade on Sunday. So thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, thanks to everyone who stopped by. At the Loon Space, Poto, Dat, Black Bear, Neo, Neko, all the lurkers, chatters, future VOD watchers. I appreciate you all. Have a good night, y'all. Have a great... Oh, Darja Linkling, hello. Goodbye, and thank you. Um, yeah, have a good night, everybody. I'll see you guys next week. Until then, take care. Be well. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.